Welcome or welcome back at I need help at C squared. In this example, we need to find the vertices and the foci of uh, hyperbola. And uh, the first thing you should notice is that the focal axis is the x-axis. The reason for x-axis being the focal axis, we have this x squared minus uh, y squared so that should tells you the x-axis is the focal axis so that means i'm going to start with that 16 a squared equals 16 so that will allow me to find a which is going to be plus or minus square root of 16 which can be simplified and we have plus or minus 4. the next thing we want to find out is the c but the first thing we need to do is c square and for finding the c square you need also b square which in our case is seven and c square will be a square plus b square 16 plus 7 which is 23 so c will be plus or minus square root of 23 and now we can use this Algebraic way you see here, these are the vertices, these are the forces when the x-axis is the focal axis. Okay, let me also show you a graphical approach. If you want to do a graphical approach, you want to start with the center, which is 0 and 0 in this case. And then, knowing that x-axis is the focal axis, you're going to move 4 units left and 4 units right together vertices of this hyperbola and uh, also you're going to move square root of 23 left and right and you get the foces that is a graphical approach if you notice here we have one more thing for this asymptote for uh, this hyperbola which we call we, uh, we call asymptotes these are the asymptotes and they have the same meaning like any other asymptotes you talk about this Hyperbola goes asymptotic with these asymptotes. And you see the equation will be, if in case you need it, plus or minus b, that will be square root of 7, over a, that will be 4x in case you need this asymptote. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.